In this video, I will show you how to fix Roblox if it's not opening on the Microsoft Store. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are on my desktop. Now there's a couple of things we're gonna go through today in order to resolve this problem. The first thing you're gonna to want to do from your desktop is come down to the bottom left-hand corner to your search box. Then what you're gonna do is go ahead and type apps into the search box. Underneath best match, you want to now open up your settings. From here, go ahead and locate apps and then go ahead and click onto apps. Then what you wanna do is come to the search box over here and just go ahead and type Roblox into the search box. So as you can see, there's a few different versions of Roblox. So Roblox Player is the web-based version of Roblox, but this one here, where it says Roblox by Roblox Corporation, this is the actual Microsoft Store app. So you wanna click onto this one first. Once you click onto this, you're gonna see a link for advanced options underneath. So just go ahead and give that a click. And that's gonna take you to a screen like this. Now, what you're going to want to do from here is just scroll down slightly until you come to the reset section just down here. And what you wanna do first is go ahead and click the repair button. So it just takes minutes to do this and you just want to wait till you've got a tick like this. Once that's done, go ahead and press the reset button underneath. And what you want to do before doing this is make a note of your login details, including your password, as this will ask you to log in again once you relaunch the Roblox app. So again, repeat the process until you get the tick. So once that's done, what you can do is just go ahead and close down the settings window and come back to your desktop. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is again, come down to the bottom left hand corner to your search box and this time you want to type troubleshoot into the search box. Underneath first match you should now see troubleshoot settings so go ahead and give that a click and from here what you're going to want to do is if you look on this page there's something called additional troubleshooters so go ahead and click onto this link and what you want to do is just scroll down all the way to the bottom and you're going to see a troubleshooter for Windows Store apps so you want to give this a click and then go ahead and click run the troubleshooter so it's just takes a minute or two to run through and detect and fix any problems with your Windows Store apps and once that's done it might give you the option to reset an app of course we've already done that so you just want to go ahead and click next at the bottom and what it's going to do is continue to look for any problems and then what you can do is just go ahead and close this window down now after you've done that try and launch Roblox again on the Microsoft Store to see if that did help with your problem if this did not help there's one final thing you can try so if you come back to your desktop and again come down to the search box in the bottom left hand corner this time you want to go ahead and type Roblox so as you can see we got a few instances of Roblox coming up again make sure you select the Roblox app not the player because the app is the one for Microsoft Store whereas the player is the web based version of Roblox so what you want to do now is right click onto the Roblox app and then what you want to do is try uninstalling the app from your PC and then you can just go ahead and reinstall it via the Microsoft Store. So after doing that, hopefully you should now be able to play Roblox. It should open successfully on the Microsoft Store. With that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.